Bro, we need to hurry. We're getting late for the exam. All right. Oh no, we have a flat tire. What? Oh man, that is really flat. I don't even know how to change it. I think there's some tools in the back, but I'm not sure how to use them. Let's go see if we can uh, figure it out. So do you think the tools are in here? Honestly, man, I've never had a flat tire, so I don't know. I think they should be in here. Okay, well, let's open it up and see. Hmm. This might be them. You might have to assemble these tools to lower the spare tire. I guess we'll find out. So we got four pieces here. Wonder how they go together. I have never seen this before. One eternity later. It took us a while, but I think we got it. Yeah, it probably took a couple minutes, but I think it will work now. I think we just have to crank it down. Mm -hmm. It's working. The tool extends through the hole in the bumper to reach the manual spare tire hoist input shaft. The rotation of this shaft spins the chain wheel to raise and lower the spare tire. Otherwise, the self-locking mechanism is engaged. Man, that took way too long. I know, man, we're late. There has to be a better way to do this. Let's go. Many months later. Bro, I am starving today. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh no, we have a flat tire. What? Again? Well, you know what? Don't worry this time. Watch this. So actually, after the last time when we had a flat tire, I got this spare tire hoist installed. It's automatic, and all we have to do is press a button, and 30 seconds later, tire's down. Watch this. The automatic spare tire hoist utilizes the vehicle's battery to power a 12-volt DC motor to raise and lower the spare tire. The components are mounted directly to the undercarriage in a compact region. The motor shaft is coupled to the three-way gearbox through a flexible shaft to accommodate for the relatively large shaft misalignment. The gearbox simply connects to the original spare tire hoist with a T-joint shaft. The three-way gearbox allows for the hoist to also be manually operated using the same tool shown in the previous simulation. This would be used if the vehicle battery is dead. This system will perform wherever you need it to. There has never been a more reliable and convenient spare tire hoist. Wow, that is amazing. All we had to do is press a button and there it is on the ground. Yeah, man, I told you, this process actually is two times faster. Well, I gotta get me one of these then.